is time for tea and a book. Oh wow, it's another heat wave in Southern California. And I'm hoping it's the last one because I am so ready for crisp fall weather and a nice hot cuppa. But if you will stay tuned to the end, I will tell you how I made this refreshing beverage of iced tea. And uh, yeah, so today I am recommending I, Eliza Hamilton by Susan Holloway Scott. I listened to this book on Audible and uh, here we go. This is another work of historical fiction. What I loved about this book is that much like Hamilton and Peggy, there is a lot of historical imagery here with beautiful descriptions of costumes, dancing, and daily life. However, it is heavily slanted towards historical romance, and that is just not my jam. And that, of course, is what I like the least. Eliza comes across as very dependent on Alexander Hamilton's approval and attentions. With Martha Washington and Catherine Schuyler, Eliza's mother, both portrayed as strong, independent women, why not Eliza? Eventually, though, through hardship, betrayal, heartbreak, and forgiveness, Eliza does transform into that kind of strong, independent woman I can respect. As the title suggests, the story is told through Eliza's eyes. Author Susan Holloway Scott does a fantastic job imagining Eliza's possible thoughts and feelings as she relates what her husband experiences and the events around her. Miss Scott offers insight into Hamilton's political career and Eliza's support for him behind the scenes, especially her efforts to uphold her husband's reputation after his untimely death in the infamous duel with Aaron Burr. I, Eliza Hamilton, is well-researched and well-written, and certainly deserving of a place in the home and the homeschool library. I recommend this book of historical fiction for ages 15 and up due to some more mature content. I listened to I, Eliza Hamilton on Audible and enjoyed Saskia Marleville's narration. I, Eliza Hamilton by Susan Holloway Scott, copyright 2017, published by Kensington Books. Today's book review has been brought to you by The Working Parent's Guide to Homeschooling by Robin Dolan, available on Amazon and at your favorite retailers. Link to the full article on my website is in the description. And by Berry's Irish Breakfast Tea and my tea of the day, M21 Luxury Boysenberry Tea from Knott's Berry Farm. Berry's makes a wonderful cold brew iced tea. I used a half gallon jar with three bags of berries and one bag of boysenberry from Knott's Berry Farm. Just let it sit overnight or all day and then pour over ice and enjoy.